the Neo Geo MVS was and is an absolutely awesome arcade machine. It plays awesome games like Metal Slug. To contain such awesome games, it takes awesomely big cartridges. It was so good they manufactured them for almost 15 years. But times do move on, and although it's still awesome, it could now be even more awesome. Take the video and audio output. Having been designed all the way back in the very late 80s, its video output is basically the same as the old TV format with some differences. The audio and video comes out of the jammer connector. It's only mono audio, even though the Neo Geo was stereo. And even worse, the video and audio are both analog. We live in the future, things should be digital, damn it! If we could get the signal before it's converted to analog, we could get a completely clean, pixel perfect picture and perfect audio. Or at least as perfect as a 25 year old arcade machine can produce anyway. To tap off the signals before they get converted to analog, we need to make some modifications. Here's where I wimp out a bit. Not wanting to risk damaging my expensive cartridge based Neo Geo, I experimented with one of the cheaper later boards which had hardware and a game combined into one. These chips form part of the digital to analog video conversion, so we tap the video signals off here. The audio is converted by this chip, so we take the inputs to that too. The Neo Geo, being old, runs at 5 volts, so the next stop for the signal is voltage dividers to bring the 5 volts input down to something that modern electronics can work with then into a low-end FPGA, which runs my code and does the conversion magic. Finally, out of the FPGA comes HDMI, video and audio. HDMI, being the digital audio visual standard of the future, no longer constrained to just playing HD Blu-rays, now we get to play awesome 90s arcade games for it too. HDMI being digital means we have a direct digital-to-digital -digital connection from the Neo Geo two fancy new TVs. The FPGA does the heavy lifting, bringing the Neo Geo's video output up to date. First the Neo Geo outputs at the wrong frame rate. Just. It outputs at 59.1 frames a second instead of 60. Which doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you're a modern TV then you're probably a right picky bugger and will refuse to show anything if it isn't bang on 60. To deal with this, the FPGA increases the clock speed of the Neo Geo by about 1%, so it runs ever so slightly faster than it originally did to get that magic number. Also, the video output was interlaced, but the FPGA takes care of that by displaying each line twice. However, some people like the warm, nostalgic glow of the scan lines of the past, so a few different fake scan line effects can be added if you're so inclined, all selectable at the press of a button. Arcade games are all about quick reflexes, so the FPGA code adds as little delay as possible. In fact, it's just 100 microseconds. Modern TVs like to add their own delays, but as we can see here, it's not bad. And that's all I have to say about it. As always, the code is available on GitHub, so go grab it if you're interested. I'm sure I'll be proved wrong within minutes, but I don't believe there's any publicly available working code for encoding audio over HDMI, so if you're interested in doing that, then check it out as well.